You're okay. <laughs> I must be the luckiest man alive. He's definitely dead now. One second, he was there talking to us, and the next is got a massive boner. Are we going to get rid of it? Grab that book. Try giving it a whack. <clears throat> He's got a boner. Whose fault was this? It was a total accident. You were the one that dragged him down, and you're the one that's going to bring him back in one piece. Because if you don't, I'm going to you, baby. I'm going to you harder than you have ever been before. Do you understand me? Why do they call it a cockpit? Is it anything to do with their having in it? Sometimes. What's that do? If we don't get Lou's body back to London before it goes mouldy, Henry's going to actually kill us, isn't he? Quite possibly, yes. Are you guys OK? I want to have a threesome with me and my mate. Pretty filthy too. That's no, okay, I don't discriminate. It's all gonna be fine. We've got it all under control. Truck, he's going! We put something in your truck by mistake. It's a box. It looks like a penis. Your friend is in a penis shaped box. A penis. Gold penis. I'll just quickly introduce you to my mother. Hello. You are fing kidding me. Hi! What are you doing, you don't you like Australian women? Sure. You know what he. And our only chance of getting him back home is if you go and shag that old lady over there. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, what my nipples! Oh, don't snap it! <laughs> Shall we move a bit further away? Huh? Do you regret saying I'll do the eulogy? Neil, have a take on this bake off. He'll just calm you down. Oh, he's really fucking powerful. Luke and I were friends for many years, and of everyone I've ever known. He definitely had the biggest <laughs> heart. I, I was meant to say biggest heart. <laughs> <laughs>